Still confused about Armor 2.0? Let me help you with a quick overview and a pretty fun build I made in this video, coming up. Welcome back. This is Part-Time Guardian, and this is a short video I made on Armor 2.0, and I think a pretty fun Hunter build. I'm going to go a little bit into what Armor 2.0 is. If you already know that and just want to go to the build, fast forward in the video, I'll put on the screen uh, what time I'll actually start the build period. And again, if you like this video, if you find it valuable, if you find my content value period, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, because again, that way you'll know about new videos coming up. Also, make sure to comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next. So what is Armor 2.0? Armor 2.0 is the new armor system that came out with Shadowkeep. In this Armor 2.0, basically there are mods that you can use to improve your abilities or stats that can only be sl slotted in certain pieces of armor. They come from various so uh, sources, including the Gunsmith, Ada, and World Drops. Specialized mods come from various raids, and there's also enhanced perks that come from raids. Those enhanced perks also can come from Iron Banner. To slot in pieces of armor, you basically have energy in the armor. That energy can be increased by doing upgrades. Now, those upgrades at first are very easy. They don't cost a lot of consumables. As they get further up towards maximum and masterwork, they're going to take quite a few consumables to complete. In the build that I'll be talking about in the future, basically I'm looking to increase some of our stats. And those stats allow us to do different things in the game. So the stats specifically are Discipline, which changes the cooldown of your grenades, Intellect, which changes the cooldown of your supers, and strength, which impacts the ability, uh, the cooldown of your abilities. Now, one thing that's not as popular of Armor 2.0 is that many of the things that you want to do are actually tied to specific energy types of armor. So specifically, if you want to do things that affect different weapons, you have to do different energy types. So Void. Void armor will allow you to do uh, changes to hand cannons, snipers, grenade launchers, scout rifles, and sidearms. Solar will allow you to do modifications to rocket launchers, auto rifles, submachine guns, and fusion rifles, and linear fusion rifles. Arc will allow you to make changes to pulse rifles, machine guns, shotgun, swords, and bows. For the purposes of my build, since it's more ability focused, um, I'm not as concerned about whether I'm using Void Solar. I'm more interested, in, again, going after some of those abilities that we talked about earlier. So with that down, let's kind of talk about the build specifically. So this is for Bottom Tree Night Stalker. And let's talk about what Bottom Tree Night Stalker gives you. There's also been some changes with Shadow Keep. So basically, when you use your Smoke Bomb, which is your melee ability for that for the Hunter, basically when it's thrown near you and your allies, it grants invisibility for up to six seconds and buffs certain stats and increases weapon reload and handling. So again, that's for all the allies that are nearby. If you deal damage with grenades... That speeds up the recharge rate of your smoke bomb. Also, if you make additional allies invisible, not just yourself, that actually grants even greater grenade energy. And then once you get to the point of tethering, if you tether enemies, basically that same buff we talked about, you will also get that as you kill the, uh, kill the enemies that are tethered. And then with Gambler's Dodge, if you're near an enemy and you dodge, then you immediately get your smoke bomb back, which again, can feed in as you get your smoke bomb back, you can allow you to increase your, your buffs for certain things. It can also allow you to get your grenade quicker. Now, if you add that an exotic called Sixth Coyote, you get double dodges. Now, again, this is not mandatory for this build, but what's great about that is because you have double dodges, you can basically do a dodge near an enemy, start to get your, your invisible back, become invisible, which again helps with some of your recharge rates. And then basically once your invisible runs out, you can dodge again near enemies, and again you can become you can get your smoke bomb back. Now, where a build like this becomes really useful is when you add Armor 2.0. So you can add a mod like Momentum. So Momentum Transfer allows you, when you cause damage to your grenade, that basically reduce your melee, your smoke cooldown again. Adding Strength mods basically increases strength, which then, again, allows that, that ability, that smoke bomb, to become quicker. And again, you can play with this. You can do Discipline or Intellect if you want your super, your grenade back quicker. There's a mod called Distribution, which allows all ability cooldowns, everything, your super, your grenade, your smoke bomb, to basically recharge quicker if you do a dodge. Well, again, you had double dodge with Sixth Coyote. You add that in, then you can kind of see how these things feed on each other. So again, in PvE, this build is an absolute monster. You can stay invisible pretty much the entire game. Um, you can get your grenade back quicker, which again will then feed into getting your smoke bomb back, which then will allow you to become invisible again. 
and this will really allow you if you're trying to do really interesting solo activities you can stay alive for a long period of time in pvp this is also useful um in that you can stay invisible most of the game and again that's really annoying for everyone else sorry warlocks and titans but it's very useful for hunters the great thing about armor 2.0 is you can basically do whatever you want you can use those mods in different ways tweak your builds out i even change like i'll do the raid there's raid specific mods i'll put in if i'm doing a raid that night so again it would be really interesting actually if you guys again subscribe to the channel if you found this interesting but the other thing is if you comment in the comments i'd love to get a discussion to go about some of your builds because this is just one i tried i'm sure there's a bunch of other really cool uh, builds out there Again, thank you for watching. I, again, love to hear the comments from you guys. Um, this build process in Destiny 2, I really think it's taking the game up to the next level. It's allowing you to do RPG elements. It's allowing you to really customize your character, make them your own. So I think that's really cool. I'd love to hear what you guys have come, uh, come up with. Again, subscribe to the channel. Comment down below, as I talked about before. And we can have a discussion. And again, I'll see you, Guardians, in the tower.